Currently, Zambia is still using the 7th National Development Plan, which expires on December 31, 2021. Zambia Institute for Policy Analysis and Research Executive Director Herig Mpoko says the 7th National Development Plan has had some positives and shortcomings according to the midterm review. The target of job creation, uh, quite evidently you see that the level of unemployment in our country is very high, especially amongst the youth, so even that one was not so successful. Um, poverty and uh, vulnerability, again, we have not scored significant success. There have been some efforts to in implement uh, programs which alleviate that poverty, but they've not met with uh, very spectacular success. Dr. Mpoko has given suggestions on what should be prioritized in the 8th National Development Plan. Economic diversification, uh, as we consider the 7th National, the 8th National Development Plan, economic diversification is key, uh, other than mineral exports, tourism, uh, agriculture, uh, agro-processing. For Policy Monitoring and Research Center Executive Director Bernadette Decker, the plan must seek to address unemployment using locally generated resources. Uh, if at all the implementation uh, of this 8th National Development Plan can be anchored on using the already existing uh, envelope resource um, rather than uh, going outside uh, to borrow. During the official opening of parliament, President Hakainde Hichilema hinted on the focus of the 8th National Development Plan in his maiden speech. The 8th National Development Plan will reflect our economic transfor transformation agenda to deliver on the national vision and the expressions of our people, our citizens. President Hitchlema said the focus of the transformation agenda will be on attaining outcomes beyond economic growth to include greater inclusion and poverty reduction. Kachopamwinga, ZNBC News, Lusaka. Health Minister Silvia Masebo says the government will revise the National Health Insurance Scheme to meet the aspiration of the Zambian people. Speaking when she opens the Zambia Medical Association ZMA annual general meeting in Livingston, Ms. Masebo said people should not be asked to subscribe to a scheme without medicine in hospitals. We have more in this report. Health Minister Silvia Masebo has opened the Zambia Medical Association annual general meeting in Livingston. Among the issues the government wants to address are the COVID-19 and the HIV pandemic. A lot of strides have been made in bringing HIV and AIDS under control. However, it's still worrisome that about 43,000 new HIV infections are reported every year. Ms. Masebo has also touched on the health insurance scheme. We will be reforming the national health insurance system to ensure that the benefits of the systems accrue to all citizens of our country. You tell the people that once you subscribe, there will be medicines in the health facilities, and yet when they get to the hospitals or to the health centers, they find that in fact the situation is worse than before you started. Then you have a problem. She has good news for the health sector. The UPND government will ensure that doctors are kept motivated as you provide integrated health services. Earlier, Medical Association of Zambia President Samson Chisele is the government to increase funding to the health sector. There's a lot of room for this government to ensure that we move towards achieving at least the minimum target of 15% allocation to the health sector in order to allow smooth running of various operations. National Health Insurance Management Authority Director General James Kapesa made a presentation. We have dried our fishing ponds for the former sector. The 1.8 million, 60% of our target, must come from the informal sector. Mombeha Mobola, the NBC News, Livingston. 
A witness has revealed a scam in which Patriotic Front PF Deputy Chairperson for Mobilization, Geoffrey Mwamba, allegedly enticed him to sneak in pre-marked ballot papers for Lusaka mayoral election.